Hi, I'm Andrew with Investors Hub, and if you're already on the website, be sure to click the link above me. It'll take you through to YouTube where you can watch the video there. You can comment, like, and maybe subscribe if you like the content. And today we're going to be talking to Ted Ohashi. Mr. Ohashi writes the Cannabis Report for Investors Hub, and we'll be chatting with him about the cannabis industry and another one of his companies in his model portfolio, Juicy. We actually already spoke to Mr. Ohashi about two weeks ago, where we talked about the cannabis industry and a different company's model portfolio, Chiron. So without further delay, let's hear from him. A little while ago, we heard about the AstraZeneca Oxford vaccine. So how has the cannabis industry uh, reacted to that? Well, generally speaking to uh, the news of all three vaccines or four, I guess, if you include the Russian one uh, so far, uh, the market has responded very well. Um, it's impossible to divvy it up to say, oh, the market responded this much to this one. Um, what's a little bit different um, about the AstraZeneca uh, vaccine is it's, it's created in the old traditional way uh, where they grow cultures. Uh, the other two, the Pfizer one and the Moderna one, um, are actually um, synthetic. Um, and so it, it's a little bit different that way. Um, the other thing that's different is that um, the Pfizer and Moderna uh, vaccines are really committed to the U.S. and Europe um, well into next year, uh, whereas AstraZeneca is not. And in fact, they've pledged that um, they will deliver to um, third world countries uh, at uh, on a no-profit basis, um, and that they'll do that in perpetuity. Um, and theirs is a little easier to handle. Uh, the other two have to be shipped frozen, and in the case of the Pfizer one, I mean, minus 94 degrees. So, um, But um, the um, uh, AstraZeneca one um, is like a traditional vaccine, and so it can ha be handled in the traditional way. So in the cannabis report, you had an interesting take on the Pfizer and Moderna vaccine with regards to the overall market. So tell me a little bit about that. Sure. I, my um, feeling is that the market has um, been a little bit overly optimistic uh, with respect to the cannabis or the uh, vaccine news. Um, the, um, the, the two uh, main ones so far, which uh, would be uh, the Pfizer and the uh, Moderna one um, are, are using a technology that uh, hasn't been approved yet for humans. Um, and so um, to me, there's a little bit of reason for doubt there. Um, and it, it appears that uh, they're confident that it's going to be approved because um, it's, it's reported that Pfizer's already started delivering um, their uh, vaccine so that the moment it's, it's approved, uh, there'll be no delivery time involved. The, uh, the clinics will have it. Um, but it seems to me that, um, you know, with the markets at all time highs or close to all time highs, that is uh, in New York and in Toronto up here in Canada, um, it, it seems to me that that's just a little bit too optimistic. It's going to be um, a few weeks yet before even the uh, 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 earliest uh, doses could be given. Um, and then it, it takes two uh, shots. So they, they have to be three or four weeks apart. So, you know, we're, we're kind of six weeks away from anybody being protected. And if you're not in a special category, if you're not a health worker or you're not old or you're not, you don't have some other chronic uh, problem, um, then you're probably not going to get it until the middle of next year. Um, and so um, we've, we've got a ways to go here yet. Um, and so um, I'm just urging everybody to be cautious in terms of their own lives um, and to be cautious as well with respect to uh, the markets. So do you have the same opinion about the new AstraZeneca vaccine? Uh, well, yeah, the, I, I think as I said, you can't divvy up the market enthusiasm this much to Pfizer and this much to that company and this much to that company. So um, just generally speaking, again, 
Um, you know, there's, I think there's been an overreaction on the uh, positive side, uh, just generally to the vaccines, and, uh, and that would include um, AstraZeneca Oxford. So if these vaccines fail or underperform, how will the cannabis market react compared to the overall market? Well, I think the cannabis market will react better um, because um, the, the cannabis industry has proven itself to be a little uh, contracyclical. Um, in other words, uh, when things are bad, people uh, want it. And when things are good, people want it. So um, it, it has a bit of an advantage that way. So the more confusion there is in the overall markets, in the economy and, and with respect to COVID, uh, the better it is, I think, for the cannabis companies. But uh, they don't need that. They're, you know, the multi-state operators in the U.S. are just forging ahead. So two weeks ago, we chatted about Chiron. So can you talk to me about a, uh, another company that's in your model portfolio? Sure. Um, I guess this week I'll talk about Juicy. Uh, Juicy is a multi-state operator uh, in the U.S. Um, it's operating in um, uh, Pennsylvania and uh, Illinois, uh, Virginia and California. Um, and they've just attained what I would consider critical mass. In other words, they've, they've got to the point where I think the risk that they're going to fall back is practically eliminated and uh, I think they're certainly going to move forward. Um, the valuation of the company um, is between one-fifth and one-tenth uh, of the established uh, multi-state operators. Now, they, Juicy has a way to go to get there, uh, but that's the path that they're now on. Um, and uh, for people who are interested, if you look at the chart, the stock has done awfully well uh, in the last four months. I think um, I first uh, recommended it about four months ago, and the stock's basically doubled since then. Um, but, you know, I, I think it's going to keep going. It may not go at that rate, uh, but I, th I think it's going to keep going higher. And if the company is able to um, continue on with their expansion program, they're in three or four um, excellent states. Uh, in terms of cannabis. Uh, so if they can keep going, um, then I think the sky's the limit for Juicy. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and I'll see you again soon.